What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, it's time we do this. It's time we predict when Hogwarts Legacy is going to come out. So I've talked about this for a long time uh, when it was back with the Harry Potter RPG, right? I've, I've given loads of predictions, not just for this game, but actually uh, for a lot of different things. And I think that we're on the right page of where we all think this game is going to be. I do have a little bit of an additional kind of tidbit of information I want to throw into this video. Okay, so we're going to talk about that uh, really quickly. If you guys are not already subscribed, you like these videos, which I, I see a lot of people are definitely uh, very, very excited whenever I make these videos. And I truly, by the way, I truly, truly do appreciate all of your guys' support. So make sure you are liking this video. Make sure you are subscribed. All that good stuff. New Hogwarts Legacy videos at least two to three times a week uh, going forward. And then we'll just actually, as as we get closer, it'll only increase from there. Lots of really fun discussions coming. We talked about the Elder Wand and Wands a, a few days ago, and we're just going to keep up the content. So let me say this. I want to be very, very transparent, or at least the most transparent I can be. I've always said that I'm not a, a leaker. I'm not a gaming insider. Now, it, I would be lying to you guys if I didn't think in my head that as this channel got bigger, especially with the stuff that I tend to do, right? I talk about a lot of different games, a lot of different rumors, a lot of different leaks, a lot of uh, just a lot of stuff stuff like that, movies, games, I would be lying to you if I said that I didn't think that as I got bigger, I would like start to know things, that people would maybe email me or I would start to get sources and stuff like that. So I, I do want to say that. And with that being said, I did get a tidbit, okay, from an email. If you guys ever feel like you know something, hopefully they're actually real things. And then again, to be very transparent with that. So there was a person that emailed me. I'm not going to say who it was. I'm not even going to say how they got the information they got. But they said that this game is trying to come out November of 2021, that that's what they heard. So take that with whatever grain of salt uh, you want. I'm not even saying that I fully support that that rumor, okay? I'm not going to say I 100% believe it. I'm not going to say I 100% don't believe it, okay? It's completely up to you to do whatever you want with it. Thank you to that person for sending it to me. Hopefully, uh, you're not lying to me and I'm not, I'm not making a fool of myself. Uh, but like I said, I, I mean, I do expect these things to happen as I get bigger. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you guys with that. I think that's possible. I think that's a pretty, uh, I feel like we can all, I think, picture how you would get to that point, okay? So, let me just say this. From the beginning, really, and I've said this for a while, for many, many, many months, and I could keep saying the word many because there's a lot of them, I was saying that I feel like this game would be a early fall uh, 2021 game. I felt like, remember, I, I thought Gotham Knights or the Arkham game or the Batman game or whatever you, know, you wanted to consider it could have came out in November, and I've always stood by, I think it was supposed to come out in November, got delayed probably very early 2021, and then you do a first half, second half kind of thing with the year which a lot of companies, you see it within the movie industry, sometimes big studios have a big movie uh, like in the summer months and then maybe another one closer to Christmas time. I mean, it happens quite often. Same thing with games like Sony, they, Sony, Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft is going to have a lot of games to do this uh, over the coming years, but you want games to kind of uh, bookend your stuff. You want to have them in the beginning when, you know, around key dates, key months of the year, let's say. So for Warner Bros., Gotham Knights seems like a really good one for like a February, March, even April if you want to slip at that far. Warner Bros. also, by the way, again, don't forget, has uh, Lego Star Wars, which will probably also come out in the spring, maybe like a May, June kind of thing at the absolute latest, okay? So you have that completely planned out. Now, as I said, when we first saw the trailer, they said, uh, tw you know, they said it was on all consoles. So they said 2021, right? But they are having it on all consoles. Now, when that happened, that led me to believe that, oh, maybe this game is going to be coming out a whole lot sooner than we all think it is because as I've always said, at least my viewpoint on uh, gaming and next generation is I'm one that wants a fast transition. I don't want to have games on both consoles for two, three, four years. And again, are some of those things hyperboles, right? Am I stretching things out? Yeah. And again, I get it. You know, we've had long, long discussions about where I stand on this. Hopefully nobody gets too mad, uh, you know, about it. I'm not saying like, I, I don't want you guys to play it because you only have a PS4 and you don't want to get a PS5 yet. Okay. So just make sure you, you understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Or go back and watch some of the history of our arguments I've had uh, on this uh, type of stuff. But when it said that, I was thinking, oh, my God, like maybe it's the first half of the year because when we get to the second half, I do expect to start seeing a lot of games start to abandon 
current gen. It, I still think that, by the way. I still think in the fall of 2021, we should start, at the very least, start to see some games abandoning having current gen games along with, you know, just having next gen. And then 2022, I mean, really, in my opinion, needs to be the year that we're just done with PS4 and Xbox One. Again, basic reasoning. In, in, uh, in technology, you have to move on. Eventually, you have to move on. You cannot constantly. Phones do it. Computers do it. TVs do it. Every, literally every piece of technology does it. You have to eventually move on. You can't stay. Uh, in the past, you're holding back progress is, is one way of thinking about it. And secondly, why would you buy a next-gen console if for the first three years of the next-gen console, you can just get every game on the current gen, right? Not a very good uh, business decision from them. So... I, you know, I've been saying June. I think that June is a reasonable time. I think that it could easily also get delayed to like a September. However, again, like September, October was always my uh, prediction for like the longest time. So if this person is right, if the the rumor, uh, you know, of November 2021 is right, that would be uh, very, very close to what I'm thinking. Again, that makes sense. We've seen Harry, we've seen uh, like Fantastic Beast movies do, uh, you know, I, I guess decently well at the very least uh, in that same time period. Again, it would be like their winter game. Uh, I think it would work really, really well. Again, you start off the year with a Gotham Knights. I mean, how do you really start off better th than with you know that kind of like DC game? You have a Lego Star Wars, which again, don't sleep on because that's going to sell very, very well. And then you end the year with Hogwarts Legacy, which is going to sell, honestly, guys, it's going to sell a lot. You know, I, I would not be surprised if this uh, sells over 10 million units. We actually, probably more than that, which would be a very, very high selling game. One of the higher selling games of you know either console generation so I think that's probably right. I feel like that makes sense, even with it being on all consoles. And that's that's the thing. That's kind of like the newer information where it's like, okay, well, since it got announced, what we've found out is that even Sony is very reluctant to leave the PS4 behind. Remember, Sony was always the one that spoke pretty darn highly on Con, you know, generations are generations, and, and they're each their own. And we, when we go to PS5, we're at PS5. Sony was kind of the leader in doing that, whereas Microsoft was the one saying, no, it's a family of consoles, right? We're not going to force you to get any console. They're going to be supported for years and years and years. And then Sony, you know, was the opposite, but then Sony lied to us, and they said, and, you know, they, they basically took that stuff back, okay? So since then, that's happened. Since Hogwarts Legacy was announced, that's happened. So even if it comes out in November and it comes out on all consoles, it still, at this point, makes sense. Does it make me a little upset? I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, again, especially for a game like this, I know so many people want to get it. I don't want the console thing to hold it back. So if it came out just on next gen, I get that it's going to leave a lot of people behind. Still being a full year after next gen, you would like to see, again, some games you know, start to, start to push themselves into only next gen. This is not that kind of game, okay? So I think it still makes sense if it comes out in November, it makes sense for it to come out on all consoles. That rumor, I want, I want to believe it. I think November makes sense. September and October would also work. November is always the time, as you've seen from this year, right, or as you're gonna see from this November. November is the time with just a lot of games. Every November is normally very, very packed. It's, it's pretty much that last little area where a lot of AAA games, you know, you know, come out. So October is ten, tends actually to be very busy. September is kind of the lead in. September will have one, two, three, four, maybe four, right? We'll have some games sprinkled in through September, but then really October, November are the really big months where we just get everything that's left, right? Or even like the biggest things, potentially the biggest things of the year come out in those two months, okay? Obviously other months are around the year as well. So for the sake of me wanting to play this game probably for like 100 plus hours, wanting to play as every single house, right? So for my sanity, also for the channel, right? Because I want to be covering it literally as much as humanly possible. I would like it to be coming out not in the busiest, you know, gaming months of the year. You're even going to see that over the next couple months. I mean, November is just tough to cover every game or to cover them as much as even like I would personally want to. So if Hogwarts Legacy were to come out there, again, from a personal standpoint, I wouldn't like that. However, this is a predictions video. Predictions and, and you know, Warner Bros and Hogwarts Legacy, they don't care about my feelings, okay? They really don't. So sometimes you guys do, <laughs> some, some, some people do, some people don't. Definitely uh, these guys, you know, Warner Bros, they do not. Hopefully, it comes out, I would say, September, October. I'm really going to stick with that. I think that even with a delay, 
they're still probably going to reach that mark. To be quite honest with you, the game was probably supposed to come out earlier, just like Gotham Knights was supposed I would not be surprised, and I don't know if we will ever hear this, but I would not be surprised in the slightest if the original plan was Gotham Knights in the fall and then Hogwarts Legacy in like the spring of 2021. So Gotham Knights would be like November 2020, it would be like next month, and then like uh, March or April, Hogwarts Legacy would come out. I would not be surprised if that was the plan. If the thing that happened around the world didn't push some of these plans off, would not be surprised at all. So, guys, let me know. I feel like a game like this and for a prediction like this, we're actually more on the same page than for most things. Sometimes I'll do a prediction and not everybody always agrees with it. I feel like we're kind of on the same page second half-ish of 2021. So, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. As I've you know always said, many, many more Hogwarts Legacy videos coming. I always get excited whenever I record one of these videos and I'm very, very glad uh, that you guys continue to watch and continue to support it. They're just going to, honestly, I I feel like we're just going to become more and more excited and we're going to have more and more fun as the months go on, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.